Brazilians are crazy about football. Whenever they can find a spare moment and a bit of shade, the soccer balls come out. The entire host country is gripped by World Cup 2014 fever. And most every player here would jump at the chance to see a match at the Maracanã Stadium in Rio de Janeiro. But right now, it's a construction site. The stadium is being gutted and renovated for the World Cup. It's a huge project. Some days, up to 5,000 people are hard at work here. The original plan was to keep the old roof. Deliberations caused months of delay, but in the end, the roof was too badly damaged and had to be torn down. Now the site manager is scrambling to make up for the delay. We're behind schedule, yes. Everything has been pushed back a bit. But we're doing everything we can to move the project forward. We'll be done by February 2013. The new plan calls for a lightweight membrane roof. It won't be sturdy enough to support large solar panels. That means the solar modules will only be installed on the perimeter. Fewer panels also means less power. Under the new plan, the panels will generate 560 megawatt hours. That's enough to supply about 280 households. The German Association for International Cooperation, the GIZ, and the German KFW State Development Bank are providing technical know-how and financial support to solar projects in Brazil. They want to help boost power capacity in the country and prevent a recurrence of major power outages like the ones that took place 10 years ago. The entire country was affected. The economy collapsed. Economic output was slashed by up to 10 percent, which is just huge for a national economy. Brazil already generates up to 80 percent of its electricity from renewable sources, much of it from hydroelectricity. Even though Brazil is drenched in sunlight, solar power still isn't a feature here. So now the government is looking to the World Cup as a showcase for its new solar capabilities. The Light Energy Group is Maracanã's leading provider. Their plan calls for many small-scale projects rather than one or two big ones. Maracanã is a flagship project, but it's also a lot more than that. It's the start of a new decentralized power supply, especially in the area of photovoltaics. The power generated at Maracanã Stadium will be bought by large companies. They'll have to pay a bit more, but in return, they'll be able to tout their commitment to the environment. A large hydroelectric power project is now under construction in the Amazon basin, but it's very controversial. Brazilians no longer want to support such massive projects. It's going to be increasingly difficult to build these big hydroelectric plants, both for social and for ecological reasons. That's why further projects are being delayed. In the meantime, we still need alternatives, which is why we're looking for new options. 1,600 kilometers to the north, the city of Salvador de Bahia. It's home to an important solar stadium project, also built with German support. The converted stadium is Latin America's first solar stadium and one of the continent's largest photovoltaic plants. It's also one of the first solar energy projects to attract the attention of Brazil's electricity regulatory agency. The stadium is a pilot project. We're going to take a very careful look at it to see how renewable energy might best be supported and utilized. The Salvador Stadium is also a model for the Maracanã conversion. In Salvador, the weight of the modules was again the biggest challenge. The heavy solar panels were used only on the newly built side sections. The roof was covered with lightweight solar foils. The state-owned stadium now generates around 600 megawatt hours of power, which supplies nearby government buildings. The photovoltaic modules were built in the U.S. and China. The inverter boxes were built in Germany. 
They convert direct current to alternating current. Plans are underway for other solar projects in Brazil as well. The regulatory agency is preparing a new regulation that will allow private homeowners, as well as companies, to install rooftop solar panels. They'll be able to feed that power into the grid. And for that, they'll be paid a set amount. The opening ceremony of Brazil's first solar stadium. Although there was little by way of major fanfare, Photovoltaic projects such as this one can provide many benefits to industry, power providers and the environment. We want support to go to German-Brazilian cooperative ventures and to scientific collaboration that will also help create and secure jobs within Germany. Brazil originally planned more gas and coal plants to generate needed electricity. But now the government has set its sights on renewable energy. Instead of massive and environmentally damaging new projects, they're looking to green electricity.